Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go check out and see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by today. Today's beer should be a treat. I'm probably going to butcher this up. This is Orval, 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 Trappist Ale. It comes from the Brasserie de Orval, out of Belgium. It is a Belgian pale ale coming in at 6.90 ABV. So that means this beer can be cellared. As a matter of fact, this beer was bottled on, it's got it on, on the label here, so that, you know what I'm going to say to that. Bottled on April 22nd, 2010, and it's best before April 22nd, 2015. So, they're saying, sell them correctly, this beer will last five years. So, uh, I can't wait to get it in the glass. The, uh, the glassware today, I'm going to use the, the bad glass. I like the snifter type glass. And they say you should use a snifter tulip for oversized wine glass. The food pairing, the cuisine, the cheeses would be the tangy. Uh, the brick, the atom, and the uh, the meat would be fish. So uh, let's get the cap off us and see what we got. This is a year-round serving, so if you can get it in your area, oh, it's kind of smoke coming out of that. You should be able to get it all year long. So these things, I'm not sure about the head, how much head this is going to produce. So I'm going to be gentle with this. Monster head. That poured about a three finger head there. It tried to be a little easy with it, but I knew it was going to have a big head. Uh, it pours a cloudy orangey color. A lot of carbonation. I mean, the bubbles are just all over the inside of that glass, as well as you can see the head there. So, <clears throat> yeah, it looks really good in the glass. Very large bubbles, as you can see on the glass there, almost like soap detergent. Fairly cloudy, though. You can't see through it. But a lot of bubbles on the inside of that glass. Let's get a nose on it. Well, a lot of, uh, that's a complex beer. There's a lot of different aromas there. I get the citrusy, I get the lemony. I get a little bit of banana, grapefruit. Let's give it a taste. Very nice Belgian strong ale. Well, it's a pale ale, but it's 6.9. It's fairly strong. Not like 8.5, but... Quite tasty. Very carbonated on the tongue. Almost like it, it fizzes on your tongue. A little bitter on the back end, but not bad. Pretty tasty. I'm enjoying that. Well, I'm going to sip on it and see what we end up with. So, stick around and I'll be right back and we'll do the final chug and grade. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Got a little bit left in the glass. I've been sipping on it here for about 30 minutes or so. Wow, it's a good beer. It really is. Got a sour, got a little bit of sourness to it too. Citrusy. Wow, very good beer. There's only seven of these Trappist Ale 
beard, so. Very pleasant beer. Final chug. I just think that's just going to get better as it ages. It was done in April, and this is December. It's rather nice. <coughs> Excuse me. I'd like to go get a couple bottles of that and put it away and see whether they're like a, a year from now or maybe two years from now, three years. Cause right on the bottle, they say it's good for five years. So I'd like to see what it tastes like five years into the aging process. See how much different it is than it is now. So, If you've had that beer, let me know what you think. Uh, if you agree, disagree, let me know. Rate Beer gives this a 99 overall and 100 in the style. And uh, Beer Advocate gives it an A minus. It's definitely an above average beer. I'm going to give this beer, I'm going to give this beer an eight and a half on the scale tonight. Pretty tasty beer. So if you see it, pick it up, give it a try, especially if you like the, the stronger ales. Uh, it's not super strong, but it's a little stronger than normal and it's, uh, it's a little different. It's got a, it's got a, got a nice taste to it. So pick it up, give it a try, and guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next beer review.